All right, so we're going to create a little mass space plan from scratch just so you can see how I made the one that I gave you. Um, so to do that, I'm going to go to Model and New. And I'm going to browse. And I'm just going to go to uh, my Templates folder in my Revit 2022. And I'm going to go to Custom Templates. And I'll give you this template um, if you would like it. And I'm going to start from this template that I've made and click OK. I'm going to um, go to my plan A1, and I'll close my inactive views up here, and I'm going to delete this floor because I don't really need it. I am going to delete this section here because I don't really need it, and delete this section here because I don't really need it, and then <clears throat> I'm going to move these elevation markers out just a little bit because I know we're going to need to do that. And it's just easier to do it now than later. So I'll pull those out. And then I'm also going to pull um, this guy is a reference line. And right now it's not allowing me to pick it because select pinned objects is turned on off. So I'm going to turn it on and I'm going to pick this guy and pull it pull it out. So oh, unpin it and pull it out and then do the same thing over here and pull it out and then I'll pin it again okay just make it a little longer um, and then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to insert an image so I'm going to go to insert and import an image that we're going to use for the background and I'll just go and navigate to that image and select it and click open and I'll kind of click near the center it doesn't have to be exact and then the next thing I want to do is I want to scale this image so um, it's selected so you can see it's red and um, it says raster image up here and I'm going to go to scale and I'm just going to go to something that I know has a known distance I'm going to say that this is going to be a three foot door so I'm just going to left click near the top of the opening of the door and drag down to there and then I'm going to just type in three. It set the the um, distance of two feet, and then if I type in three and enter, it'll make that two foot distance three feet. So it'll sort of scale that thing up. And then I'm just going to kind of drag this guy to the center-ish. I may adjust it a little bit in a minute. And then I'll pick this scope box, uh, which will help us with cropping it later, and pull it kind of out, and then pull it kind of out to there. So we've kind of got our setup. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is create some walls that go around the edge of this so we have some definition. Oh, and let's let's pull this section out. So this section is going through the center so I'm just going to pull it out to here using little blue dots. Pull this one out to here. And then also you can see that the section is by this blue line. Um, the view range is in the X and Y is not around the building. So what I'm going to do is set it to the scope box A. So while the section is selected, it'll show you the properties over here and I can go to the scope box and set that to scope box A. So now it's it's popped that blue line out there. Now we'll do the walls. So I'm just going to go in and create a rectangle, a wall here and do the bathrooms. So I'm going to go to architecture, wall, wall architectural, and it gives you a type selector here which shows you all the types of the wall in the project. And if you scroll around, you'll find a generic exterior 9 inch. And up here, you can draw just lines. But what I want to draw is a rectangle, since it's a rectangle. So I'll just click on rectangle here. And then left click kind of near the middle of this. And then come over here and left click near the middle of that. And it'll put that wall in. Now the wall's there, but it's kind of hard to see because it's white on white. So I'm going to hit escape a couple of times to stop the wall command. And I'm going to hit Victor Victor for visibility graphics so I can update the section cut of the walls so I can see them better. So I'm VV. And that brings up your visibility graphics for just this view. It's going to change the section cut for the walls. So if I scroll all the way down, I get to the walls. And I can left click on it once and then click on the override and change that from, to a solid fill and we'll change it to uh, this top left for right now. You can choose whatever color you want and click OK and now I can really see those walls. Last thing I want to do is put the interior walls in and then center this guy. So 
I'm just going to go to wall, wall architectural again, and go to the type selector, and scroll around until you find the um, generic interior 5 inch, which is right here. And then you can just come in and again, it's not critical, but you get it in a particularly exact place. I'm just going to put that wall in, and then I'll come in and left click sort of this is drawing on the center right now so I'm just gonna left click in here and draw that guy in okay and then I'll just copy those walls so it wants to pick that image wherever it is so I'm gonna window around these walls by going outside the extents of the image and left clicking and dragging around the walls to select them and copy those guys from here to out there okay we can always update these later as well now, the last thing I want to do is I want to center um, this guy so I want to pick the image and all the walls and everything inside but not um, not the section so I'm gonna kind of window around where I don't get the whole section just kind of window around this part right and select it and then I'm gonna hit the move command up here and it will snap to a center right so you can come in and you can kind of see the center is really close of that wall to that so yours may not be but just left click on the center of that wall and move it over and it will snap to the intersection and move that guy over and then I'm going to do the same thing over here go to move again and find the center of the wall here and move it up to there and so now that guy is centered um, last thing we can do maybe is just take these elevations and move them in a little bit I'm just windowing around them make sure you get it again around the entire box right and then we're good so when we come back we'll start making the masses